Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog at stampwithelaine.com. Today, Stamping Up is launching its new online exclusives program, which introduces fresh, never before seen products to spark your creativity. And because there's no end date, you can expand your collection all year long. And the best way to see it is to view it on the online store. Some products will be reordered when the inventory is low and others will only be available while supplies last. This way Stamping Up offers even more new products throughout the year and none of the products in the online exclusives range will appear in any of the other catalogues. It is available online only. So let's get started. I gave you a sneak peek of the Irresistible Blooms. So today we're going to be using the other die and another online item called the Naturally Gilded Specialty Designer Series Paper. These are 12 by 12 inch sheets and there are six sheets in the pack, two each of gold, silver and copper. This is the gold one and it's done on very vanilla background so this is the very vanilla cardstock this is the silver one obviously and then there's a copper one which I've embossed with copper powder these are the naturally gilded 12 by 12 inch or 30.5 by 30.5 centimeter papers it's only single sided and there's the copper one the card we're making today actually showcases the other die in the Irresistible Blooms bundle. So these are the dies and when I gave you the sneak peek I showcased this die and today I'm showcasing this circle die. These two dies are the floral ones. And in fact, they cut out the floral images from the two designs of the Hello Irresistible 6x6 inch or 15.2 by 15.2 DSP pack. There are 48 sheets in that pack for each of 12 double sided designs. So these are the papers, just a quick recap. Um, they're also dies to cut out these leaves. Even the little teeny leaves have got a die for it. And this one is a pear. And then these standalone dies. So you can cut out the leaves from both these sheets and the flowers from these two sheets. This will cut out the large flower and that will cut out the smaller one and the same for this sheet. That's the reverse and to be honest if you don't wish to buy the dies um, you can just as easily cut them, fussy cut them and these are the rest. We're using this one for the background because I still haven't got my hands on the Pretty Peacock and Lost Lagoon inks. They weren't included in the pre-order so that's why I silver embossed the letters for the card. The other supplies I'll need is the Embossing Additions Toolkit which comprises of this tray, the brush, tweezers and embossing buddy and I'm using the metallic embossing powder which comes in a pack of three and I'm going to be using the silver one. So the cardstock you need is a scrap of basic white cardstock. The card base is five and three quarter inches by eight and a quarter inches that's 14.5 centimeters by 21 centimeters and folded in half. I've cut a piece of Hello Irresistible 6x6 inch or 15.2 by 15.2 centimetre DSP 
and this has been cut the same as for the card front in the naturally gilded 12 by 12 inch or 30.5 by 30.5 specialty designer series paper at 4 inches by 5 and 5 eighth inches and in metric that is 10.2 by 14.3 centimeters. I'm going to glue that onto the card front and because I'm going to be cutting an aperture I'm going to apply adhesive all over the card so do that first make sure your paper is the right way up now the reason I've done that is because it's very flimsy once it's been cut as you can see so in fact if you glue that onto the whole of the card front the basic white cardstock will also reinforce the specialty designer series paper and then when you're cutting it you want to put it through your platform this way so here's the cutting sandwich platform one the thin dye adapter platform 2, one of the base plates platform 3, your cardstock, okay, face down. I'll put it this way first so that I can see where I want my die. I want to centre it on here and I'm going to secure it with washi tape and you want to put the washi tape toward the centre so that if the pressure of the running this through the die cutting machine it won't damage this paper here this one you will see this you will discard and then the second platform three and I'm ready to run it through the machine now a tip if you've run it through the machine already two or three times you want to take both plates flip it over like so so now that it's upside down and the base cutting plate is on top and then you run it through again. And then this way, when you take this out, you can be sure that it's cut all the way through. So remove the die, carefully peel it off. Like so. And see how that's come off really easily. Now I'm using a smaller flower for this and I don't really want the leaves to show through because if I do then it will show through here and the leaves if you glue it back to back it won't match so it's best to hide it underneath here. Okay so I'm going to put a leaf there and you want to glue the leaves first because you're going to glue the flower on top. And only put uh, glue on the bottom. And I'm going to put these mini dimensionals in between. Okay, so then try and cover up that flower so it doesn't show. And I think I'll do the this flower in the opposite direction. So let's glue that this way. And then I can trim off the excess from this side. Bring in my embossing buddy and tap that onto the cardstock to prevent static 
and to prevent the embossing powder from sticking to the cardstock in places you don't want to show and then just stamp leave it there for a minute to absorb I'm going to use my old embossing container and tap off the excess bring in my heat tool and emboss that Then I'm going to fussy cut this and hold the scissors at a 45 degree angle and move the paper, not your scissors. Earlier in the week I did a Top Tip Tuesday video. These are really short videos and if you're new and you're not confident about doing this freehand or just by eye you can always draw round it and then use that pencil line to help you guide your scissors to save time I've already put dimensionals on the back of the word and remove the backing tape close the card and then center this in the middle of the circle make sure that that is straight and then you can put that on straight as well and there's your card finish. How quick and easy was that? So that one used the larger flower and this one is the smaller flower. So there you have it. A quick and easy card. Don't forget these colours are coming back. It is Pretty Peacock and Lost Lagoon. And like you, I've not been able to purchase it until today. So the first thing I'm going to get is the ink and the re-inkers. Thanks for watching and do give me a thumbs up if you like this tutorial and share if you can. I really appreciate it. You'll also find me on Facebook, Pinterest and Instagram. And just a reminder, these are online exclusives. So hop on to my online store and you can purchase this bundle from there. Thanks for watching. Bye.